Hey folks, uh, yeah, I had to cut the video short today, as you'll see at the end, uh, kind of abruptly cut off, because getting sprinkles uh, right at the end, so I had to pack up and quit the project for the day. So I just wanted to give a little explanation so you knew what happens at the end. Uh, yeah, it's raining. And uh, today I assembled the uh, Harbor Freight solar panel. No chance to test it because as soon as I got the panels uh, connected to each other, it started raining. So there goes that. I'll enjoy the short video for today. And hopefully tomorrow in the next video, I'll have the uh, solar panel up and running. Okay, uh, as you can see, you got all the uh, batteries wired in parallel. I got the power inverter opposite corners and the battery charger opposite corners now to get this uh, hooked up to the generator so I don't think it's gonna show me no it's not gonna show me uh, anything uh, with the charge on the batteries until I get the generator fired up you can hear uh, obviously the generators running Batteries are at 93 volt, uh, yeah, 93 volts, 93 amps, 12.7 volts. See a charge rate. It's all at 20 amps and there it's a. Uh, charging and then it, this battery charger has a automatic flow so when it reaches full charge it'll uh, it'll automatically shut off and now to get the solar panel uh, checked out and yeah, so now I have a uh, power in here that's just the uh, top off the batteries I want to make sure they're topped off before I using the first time so I'm gonna let that run for a while and don't get more gas is that thing of generator is almost empty I'm a hundred percent unimpressed with the uh, assembly of these panels you get these tiny little straps and no matter how much you tighten them they still shift say like as it's sitting now on its uh, left side or on its end it still shifts up and down and it is, takes up a huge amount of space. Uh, the suitcase style, a portable panel just fold right in the middle. You don't have this flimsiness, but what would help is if you had one strap to go all the way across, top and bottom, just one strap. That would be a lot better build quality, a lot better. And the plastic on these, it, plastic on these panels is really, really cheap. And the way this is constructed, this is definitely not uh, good to be outside. Yeah. So. And in my opinion, as far as being portable, this is not portable at all. You have to, well, it is portable if you take it apart, so it's easier to handle. And it, it is just not very solid build. 100% not impressed. I recommend... Uh, Get something better from Echo Worthy or Renogy or uh, any anything else that's a suitcase style. Get the suitcase style if you want portable power. But we'll see how this performs first before writing it off altogether. But I won't get that done until a later video. And until next time, take care.